in part two, Evan humbled Jody, took on Victor Lilov, and the boys caught up with the GOAT, Z Clark. In this final episode, Dubs gets chippy and the boys keep it light off court. Can the boys go all the way this week? Or will they get sent back in? Let's find out. <laughs> to save much point. What time do you play today? 4.30 p.m. Not before. Which is Second that? half to 3. It's 10.30. So the how first are we... match starts at like, what, 12? That was like... Yeah, we play really late. So how are we going to waste this day or use it productively? We don't waste it. We're going to waste it by playing connect. <laughs> we waste days. We're going to do some connect for or breakfast. Then I plan on doing a light little fitness session. What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. You? You got to do some activating of the body. Uh-huh. You know, when Where you play so late. Excuse me? Where at? You try to say it? Can I join you? Plyometrics or something? Is that the word? Evan you? had no plans of activating his body. <laughs> <laughs> um, string or racket? I will not be doing that. I'll string a racket mm. and then we'll go to the courts after lunch and prepare for battle. Boom. So, We call that match specific. Hey, that looks like me, brother. One leg, other leg, double house. Oh, fuck. Why are y'all inside, bro? Because it's freezing cold outside. What do you mean? Because we're not strong enough, you know? <laughs> yeah. Yo. <laughs> um, Debate. Can Jody's head hit the ceiling? Definitely, bro. You think so? 60% just now. You can yeah, jump higher? 60%. Huh? Jump higher than that? Yeah, yeah. That's like 75%. <laughs> that was close, that one, no? Yeah. What if you jump and bend forward, pause? Are you crazy? <laughs> you ever scared of her facing your boy? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Should I do one hand? <laughs> Left hand. <laughs> While well, them boys out there working out, I'm making, which you're watching, and doing my rehab of my calf. I'm feeling way better already, almost walking normal now. I think I might get back on court next week. I'm gonna be back in tournaments in two, three weeks. Let's see. What's the code? The code is changeover. How much money off? 100 United States dollars. And how is the machine? How is it to use? Look at this, I'm talking and string at the same time. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> cap, big cap. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Before the shenanigans, bro, give me the... Oh, yeah, you're chewing food. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the, the match recap. Good song. Uh, lost the first set. We were up to break twice. It wasn't great. <laughs> <laughs> How cold was it out there, for oh, starters? It was... I don't know the exact numbers, but it was 50 degrees, when, about like 46. When I sat down, <laughs> when I sat down, it was 51. And when the match finished, it was 47. Ridiculous. I don't even know what the rule is. And but the that sun's is not, not out, it got dark. Um, How hard is it to play in the cold? Like, what do you feel when it's cold? I feel like... The ball doesn't move through the air as fast. Yeah. And uh, the balls get... The balls get hard. I had to say it. What, how, how else am I going to say it? say anything? Um, so yeah, it's just not as lively off the strings. So I actually was proactive and I strung my rackets two pounds looser because I watched Dustin Tankus Lee's episode that I was also in. Shout out DT. Shout out to Dustin. <laughs> and um, 
Yeah, when it's colder, I want a little bit more help and power from my racket, so I did that. And then at the beginning of the second, Evan just said, I refuse to lose. And then I just jumped on Evan's back and he carried me through to the rest of the, the match. And then... Tight tiebreaker. We right? went up a mini break early and we just couldn't get up a double mini break until really late in the tie break. Mm -hmm. um, they got back. You were up 9 6 and got the 9 8, no? The double mini break was huge. Um, I think he doubled actually at. We were up 9 5. Si at 6 8, he doubled for us to go 9 6. Oh, and then he went back to back, like good points, and then went 9 8. Then Evan just clutched up on the match point. Your body doesn't feel different when you're playing in the court? Like, you don't feel stiff or like yeah. slower? Yeah. A yeah. Slower. And then I actually was like... Your fingers are a little bit slower. I was thinking about hydration too, because the when it's that cold and you're not really sweating, so you think you don't really have to hydrate. And the water is sitting outside, so it's cold. So like when Evan went to the cooler one time and brought up a water out of the cooler, there was no ice in, in there, so it was like just kind of warm water. And I said, let me just try and drink as much of the water now as possible. Mm -hmm. like you, you, you don't even want to drink water when it's so freezing cold. So <laughs> I wasn't gonna say freezing. So no, freaking cold. Different, so different word. cold. So who we got tomorrow? Cooper Williams and um, Milavsky, I think. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but I think they're a good team. So. Yeah. So we need to make sure that we recover well. We're gonna sleep eight to nine hours, and we're gonna be back in the morning. Let's go. Let's do it. So this is what recovery? This is what it looks like? What? This is what recovery looks like? This is actually protein powder. It's protein shake. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's almost 1 a.m. and I'm just now getting tired. Been editing all day. That's another thing with being injured. You aren't using as much energy. So you aren't as tired as you normally are around 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night. So the sleep doesn't come as easy as it normally does. Adiola. Oh, you need to see this. You need to see this. Which one do you think is tighter? Get a switch hands. The other one is tighter. This one is? The other one. This one's looks like. How? Switch hands now. Switch hands. Which one's tighter? Looser, tighter. <laughs> I think you say lower round. Stop tricking me. Seriously? This one is a lower sounding sound. Look, you do it. Let me tell you. <laughs> Number six? Do you know which one you did? Number six is looser. Switch hands though. Number six is looser. Oof. This one's this one. What number is that? Number six. Come on now, brother. Give me six, give me six, give me six. Playing with six tonight. It's colder, and according to Dustin, when it's colder... According to you last night, brother. Also according to Dustin, <laughs> brother. I learned from the professionals. Watch the episode. Yeah. Customize like a pro or whatever it's called. Quit <laughs> me whatever. You're supposed to know the title of our video. You'll see it. Rafa's face is on it. But it's cold outside, so we're dropping the temperature to get a little more action on the ball, feel me? Mm. Pause. It's just us. This match had a very high level right from the beginning. Similar to yesterday, it was very cold out there, so the ball wasn't moving that fast. But both teams were playing at a very high level, especially Williams and Malavsky, returning very well, putting pressure on Evan and Jody serves pretty much every game. I would say from the back, Cooper was able to hit his forehand through the middle of the court too often and kind of put pressure on Jody and Evan, which maybe they could have closed the middle a bit better. And maybe Evan could have served a bit better in this match. But other than that, I just think that the other team was, was very clean.
Boys lost a pretty simple first set, but fought very hard in the second set and kept great body language and energy, which I know is a goal for both of them going into matches. So I think they can be proud of their effort today. <laughs> to save much point. Milavsky and Williams went on to win the tournament, so I think overall it was a pretty good performance against a quality team, and they can build on this going forward. Flying time, but one leaves at 2.43, and gets, six, gets there at 6.36, and one leaves 8.20 p.m., gets there at 12.30. No, 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 you take the early one. You're sure it's... 50 it's, bucks? 50 bucks. But I don't have any. This thing is, I'm going home. I don't, I don't need to do anything. Do but... You will just be sitting around all day, and you're gonna buy food, and you're gonna. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're it's right. not. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Fuck sake! I should have known. I should have known. No chance you're on direct flight from. Yeah, from Greensboro to Sioux Falls. To Sioux Falls. Falls. What if you check Charlotte? Sioux. But Charlotte is a is a hundred seventy dollar Uber from here. <laughs> <laughs> I made seventy four dollars this week, and I didn't even make that money because they didn't even pay us. So. How do they not pay you? Oh my god. Because the person who is responsible for paying has COVID. Wait, we're gonna get better soon. And there's no one else in the whole organization that can just send you seventy bucks. <laughs> now, what if I were to tell you that I participated in this particular tennis tournament two years ago? Mm -hmm. That time, I played qualies and I lost in qualies, no prize money, and I lost first round doubles. Mm -hmm. First round doubles minus a forty dollar entry fee. Mm -hmm. So then they said, "Oh, there's a." an accounting issue, cash flow issue, will pay you in a few days. I said, you can pay me $30. You can. <laughs> <laughs> this is the original Serbia. You know what I mean? <laughs> you can pay me $30. So just go ahead and just Venmo me over $30 and you'll never hear from me ever again. And look at me, two years back, making the same issue again. Same thing. I should have just said that. She said, yo, just Venmo me $74. And we're good. And I will literally never be here. Actually, there's a 250 here that I plan on playing one day. Give thanks. And However, four hundred eighty-four dollars. What's included? A carry-on bag, seat assignment, and ticket change. So you gotta buy for your bag. Check bags, you have to pay more money. Uh, and there's two flights from here to Sioux Falls. Absolutely, brother. I'm going to Chicago first. What time is the first flight? Five thirty-five. In the morning. No, no, p.m. 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 Oh. Five thirty-five. I get to Chicago six fifty-five. And then I leave at 8.20 p.m. and I get into Sioux Falls at 10.08 p.m. Beautiful. And then I have to pay for a place to stay for two days or two nights. Oh, it doesn't start when, for doubles? You can't get the five days? I think it starts on Sunday, no? Place to stay like... Double, maybe Sunday. Always Saturday. Oh, I just exited. Second class citizens, huh? That's rough. You don't have, you don't have to say that. <laughs> Fucking up. It's a shame. I had some new kicks I was gonna wear this week. I haven't even put them on my feet yet. Maybe next time. Keep training these or throw these out. Hole in the side. Losing the tread. One more we can practice or in the garbage. You go. Catch you next time. <laughs> No, no, no. <laughs> Come on. Come on, you're creative. You have to motivate your cast. I will be leaving my friends, Justin and Evan, to go to Sioux Falls Challenger in South Dakota, and then hopefully Charlottesville Challenger. But I don't know yet, we'll see. And I'll be back in training with my friends, Justin and Evan, in two weeks' time <laughs> from now, or one week time from now. Thanks for watching our vlog. I'm going back to Florida to get right, train. I'm leaving Jody, my friend.
Good trip, or, or what are we thinking about the good trip. so far? Good trip. Good yeah? trip. We built some momentum, and now time to keep going. This is, my, this, this is the greatest trip. I wouldn't go so far. <laughs> <laughs> but all right. Well, safe travels, boys, and we link up when we link up. Thank you, and hopefully you love the, the vlog that I edited on our channel. Um, Great editor, this guy. Thanks for watching. <laughs> See you in the next episode. And for me, one last day of rehab here, and then catch a flight tonight. For my last session with TD, we did some more soft tissue. I hit the bike a little bit harder this time. Then I got into some strengthening stuff, some iso holds, some eccentrics with the calf. And then we ended adding some tape for the compression and support. It's gonna hurt when it comes off. The KT tape, <laughs> tough. Through the ups and the downs, you have to always give thanks and just keep taking that next step. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch up on the next changeover.